a prototype toilet on which you can generate power with your pee. It has been launched at the UWE University in Bristol. And with us we've got PhD student Pavlina. She's a researcher in this field. Welcome Pavlina. Please expa Hi. explain this miracle to us. <laughs> well, this mir miracle, it's really a simple technology. It's called the uh, microbial fuel cell technology. Microbial fuel cells are energy converters that um, they are taking one form of energy and convert it to another. Um, we are feeding the microbial fuel cells with organic matters and inside microbial fuel cells there are different bacteria that they eat the fuel that we feed them with, for example urine, and by eating it they break it down and they produce electricity as a direct byproduct. And what's the purpose of this prototype? Um, in this prototype, uh, the P-Power uh, managed to powering uh, four LED lights and that give uh, light, uh, lighting to the urinal cubicle. However, there is more energy produced. For example, at the moment, we are producing 4.3 volts, uh, which we use only a part of it. And uh, the prototype is identical to what Oxfam uses in the refugee camps. And uh, it's, a, it's a test for the urinal that we hope can be used by aid agencies in um, uh, refugee camps because um, they are the um, risk of women to be assaulted during night uh, when they will visit toilet is high. So if we provide electricity and lighting in those area in these areas, um, that would be good for them and safer environment. Yes, so power from your pee might be very useful in third world countries, but isn't it very expensive? Well, a single prototype cell can cost around a pound to make, and uh, a small unit that, like the one we've got here, um, it's hoped that can cost around six, as little as 600 pounds to set up. And do you think one day we'll all be able to uh, generate electricity out of our pee? <laughs> Look, if we consider that um, every day we are producing and wasting 10.5 billion liters of urine around the globe, we believe that uh, pea power has a great potential as a cheap and readily available so source of energy. And of course, our aim is to develop microbial fuel cells into a mature, sustainable um, energy technology that we can use in everyday life. For example, having at home a smart toilet with a USB port where you can plug in your mobile phone and charge it overnight just using your own urine, nothing else. Thanks so much for your time, Pavlina. Thank you. And if you guys want to know more on this research, go to our website. Remember P-Power. Bye-bye.